Hi, I'm Jenny Long. And I'm Celie Clark. And we are, we are Jenny. Jenny. <laughs> we are so excited to share this quick tip for you on how to set up a recurring meeting in Teams. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss another quick tip from Jenny. Lee. Subscribe below. Somewhere up here. I don't know. Subscribe. Do it. All right, so I don't know if you're like us or not, but we actually have a channel in our team called Class Meetings. Not in this one, because it's a pretend uh, generally team, but <laughs> a lot of our teachers do have that channel, uh, which we love that, because that means our students know exactly where to go um, and meet each day. However, it's kind of difficult to be able to set up these options, because we don't want students to be presenters, and we also don't want them muting the teacher or other students. So to make it as clean as possible and also to be able to set up some of those options, we find it is best to go ahead and set up a recurring meeting within that channel. Now, if you notice on my screen, what makes it great is here's the bar that the students will join. And once you click on it and start it, it makes that big join bar. But as I record my videos throughout the day, check it out. They automatically post underneath that meeting bar. It's a great way to stay organized, right, Jenny? Yes, I love that. I do too. Not only that, we can set the meeting permissions one time and set up the meeting one time and it's going to post every single day for us. What a great way to be efficient within Teams. Yes. The less steps, the better. <laughs> Amen. <So. laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing that we want to do is I'm here in my team and I'm going to go up to the top right hand corner and Right next to me, there is a little drop down and you can click that and you can schedule a meeting. So when you choose schedule a meeting, you can go ahead and title this for maybe the specific lesson that you're going to be working on or the topic or whatever this is, your math meeting or your read aloud. So you want to go ahead and title it. And then we're going to go ahead and um, we can just put, you know, the date. It does, and time is not, you know, doesn't really matter because we're going to make this a recurring meeting. So under our settings here, we want to go ahead and choose every weekday, Monday through Friday. Perfect. Your, your letters are really small on my screen. So you don't have to read it for me. <laughs> I'm like, what does that say? <laughs> Glasses are not helping. <laughs> so go ahead and choose when you want that to recur. And then you can um, go ahead and click send. And then that's going to post with that big blue bar right across the screen. And so students will know, and especially when you have started the meeting, they will see that camera icon showing up there and they will be able to join the meeting. You know, something our district has just done, actually, they've gone on the back side of Teams and made it to where students cannot start meetings. So each day you will come in as the teacher, click on that purple bar, start the meeting, and then the students will see that big join bar pop up and they'll know exactly where to go. So now we need to set up um, maybe our meeting options because we definitely don't want our students to uh, take over our meeting. So I'm gonna click right back into that purple bar and this is great because, you know, this versus the meet now where you might have to set up these permissions each time. This just allows you to do it that one time. So this is what we're recommending. So now we're going to click on meeting options. So now this is where I can set those meeting options. And remember, I'm only doing it one time, like Jenny said. So I don't have to do it over and over again one time. So I need to make sure I set them correctly. The first one is who can bypass the lobby. We can say people in my organization, or if you want to make sure that you admit them and you don't want them coming in earlier, you can also make it where it's only me. And then you can admit each person that comes into your class if you need to, if you need that control. If not, just say people in my organization and after you start it, the students can join. Um, and then another one here, who can present? This one is super important. By default, it's on everyone. So that means your students are going to be able to share their screen and also mute other participants. We want to make it to where it's only me. And now the teacher is the only person who can share their screen and they are the only person who can mute participants. So this is a great oh, way. I know, right? It's a great way to help bring control to that meeting for your students. Then you're going to click save. Now the best part, are you ready? It's done. We don't ever have to do this again for the rest of the year. It is That's automatically fabulous. going to every Monday through Friday post a purple bar and the students always choose the one at the bottom to join. 
it's also great because look, it's completely organizing all my videos and my meetings. So we love this and we think it's the best way to set up your meetings within your class meetings channel. Try it out. Let us know what you think. Don't forget to go and be a different kind of awesome. Bye. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe up here, down below. <laughs>